We here. Jizzle, Wu Tang. You hear the music in the background. It's some majestical. So I'm gonna ask you a majestic question. In the all time rank, a lot of people are talking one of the best hip hop groups of all time. But our fans say y'all bigger than that. Y'all one of the best groups in music all time. What y'all think y'all rank in that pantheon of musical groups? I just want to say Wu Tang, man. Legendary, we laid it down. You got nine members from a group that was just doing this because it was a hobby to them. We, we didn't get into this to try to make money, to try to get fame, you know, all that other shit. We did it because it was in our heart. We love to do it, man. Yo, on another note, technology is a motherfucker. Cause I don't even know how you're able to hear what the fuck I'm saying right now. Cause it's loud, there's a motherfucker in here. Wu Tang, they're one of the most successful groups. Y'all like a cult following. And y'all maybe have three, four radio hits between all the albums y'all put out solo and as a group. How do y'all keep that following so, so tight and so cult like? Why do they continue to drink the Wu Tang Kool Aid? I just think that. The time Wu-Tang came out, the timing was perfect. There was a moment in time where hip-hoppers, or those that listen to hip-hop was really looking for something to come at that time. They really needed, it was like a breath of fresh air. It was a changing in the moment. It was a new era. It was a new dynasty was coming through. Wu-Tang was being formed. So, I just think that people took a likeness to it. We all dropped solo albums, and the world took a likeness to it, and they grasped and embraced Wu Tang as a group, as a whole, as individuals, as solo, and that's what it is, and that's what it was.